What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Steez, and I am back with another video. But today is a very special day. Today is my birthday! <laughs> Everybody go crazy. Today is my birthday. So, y'all, people have been playing with me in real time, trying to single-handedly ruin my birthday, okay? So, if y'all follow me on Instagram, then y'all already know uh, what was going down. And somebody was about to get bop, 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 bop for my birthday. Because they kept trying to play with me, okay, over my hair. So, I mean, you know, duh, I look good in it. But, you know, I'm going to have to get into the story to let y'all know what happened with this whole fiasco. Because Miss Mama was about to get the boom box. She was ready to give her a get bop, okay? But... Yeah, nevertheless, if this is your first time here on my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, subscribe because it's my birthday, period. Hit the like button. And y'all better like this video because it's my birthday. Show your girl some love. You know, um, y'all know, buy me a little something, something. Give me, send me a little drink, send me a little cash app, send me something, y'all know. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into this story. Y'all can show a little bit of love if y'all want to, you know, change, 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 But, no, y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the story because I need to let y'all know. I need to get this off my chest. Like, before I even get into the story time, this story time is going to be three things, okay? It is going to be a story time, of course. It is going to be a coming to Jesus, uh, duh. And three, it is going to be reading the grass for filth, okay? Because we're sick of y'all, okay? And I am sick of y'all, and I'm half a second off a lot of y'all, okay? So, yeah. Alright, y'all. So, this is like the freshest story time that y'all ever going to get, Ben. And this just happened... Like, a couple days ago, okay? So, it all starts with my hair. And an Instagram hairstylist. So, y'all already know where this is finna go. And if you are an Instagram hairstylist, fight. Because, yeah, we don't care at this point. I don't care. Yeah. But anyway, so, I book an appointment, okay, for my hair to get braided. How it is, okay? So, initially, when I booked my appointment, I booked my appointment for, I don't know what these is called, Fulani, Tribal Braids, whatever they is, right? Okay, I booked for small knotless with small front, whatever it is, small front and knotless braids. It's supposed to be small. Take a look. Look how many braids in my head. These are not small. Okay. Right, y'all, I'm hoarse. Because y'all, I'm getting riled up. I'm getting riled up, y'all. Because I'm woo, still mad about it. You know, niggas still go down at any moment. Okay, y'all. So, initially, I booked my appointment for... Hold up, y'all. Because I'm falling apart over here. So, I booked my appointment for a small tribal braids. Whatever these is. Small, knotless. Fulani braids, tribal braids, whatever kind of braids these is. I book for these type of braids, right? So, I'm excited. I'm telling my homegirls, I'm like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So, y'all know how indecisive I am or whatever, right? So, I didn't know. Y'all know half up, half down. Y'all know that's my favorite hairstyle, right? And it always be giving the grass for the summertime. But I was like, you know, I don't particularly like to leave my hair in the half up, half down because my hair is curly. So once I start sweating and going to the gym and running back and forth around the hospital at work, you know, the front be, you know, curly. The front be looking like Corbin Blue. The back be looking like Brazilian. So that's not a good mix. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get my hair braided. I was like, you know, just the half knotless and the half with break cornrows in the front. Like, that's just something chill that I could do with my hair. So, y'all, I booked the appointment for my hair probably, like, a month or so ago. But y'all know, like, the different stylists. So, the stylist that I normally go to, it was already booked up. So, I had missed when she opened her books because I was still kind of 
deciding if I wanted to do half up, half down, if I was going to get a weave, if I was going to do, I was trying to do a 613 wig. Where was I going there with a 613 wig? Because I ain't going nowhere. But, like, yeah, so I was still deciding, right? So, me, what I do, Baltimore Breeders on Instagram. So, I found this person to do my hair. So, I, you know, I'm, like, real particular about my hair and especially my braids. Like, my braids got to be crisp. So I'm scrolling through, so I find so I'm like, okay, I like how I work. I like your work, right? So the first thing where I should have known, not even a book this person is, they had all these rules in the bio, right? It's like, oh, do not work on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Must book appointment on Tuesday and Thursday. Don't book no appointment before 9 a.m. If you book in this style, you must book it at this time. Or oh, I ain't doing it. And it was like all, like all the, all this and that, this and that. So I should have already known because I was like, you know what? They don't see much. And when I be saying all that, I be like, girl, just shut up and breathe the hair or whatever service you're doing. Like, just ugh. All right, so that was the first red flag. I already shouldn't have booked the appointment. But anyway, I was like, you know, I really wanted my hair like this. I've been wanting my hair like this for a minute. And I didn't find anyone who could, like, do the front, how I really like the front. I don't really like this front, but it is what it is. So, I booked the appointment with the girl, right? Because everybody else's hair look nice. So, I was like, you know what? This is going to be my birthday hair. You know, I can go to the gym with it. I could, You could dress it up. You could dress it down. You could do what you want with it, right? So I'll go to book the appointment. So when I go to book the appointment, all the rules, it's like now it's like an extended long, long, long page of rules. It's like if you getting half cornrows, half tribals, you must book this at this time. Um, cause I don't do this style starting after nine o'clock. Like, I'm not used to all that because the girl who always braids my hair, who y'all seen in the last video when I had the um Straight back, because that's who all, Simone always do my hair, okay? But I was like, you know, Simone don't do all that because she's a braider. It don't matter what time you call her to braid your hair, she going to braid it. And it's going to be, you know, braided to perfection. So I'm not used to all of this extra stuff because I feel like if you got all these rules and all these stipulations, then you must really can't do what you claim that you could do. Like, like you claim that you could do it. Because if you could do something, then you could do it. You know, what's the problem? So, you know, to the, the my better judgment, I still booked the appointment, right? And my fault, I still booked the appointment. So, I booked the appointment, whatever, paid a little deposit and all this stuff. So, I digress. So, I go ahead about my business. So, then I see that the person ended up posting something like, oh, I'm running a, um, a June, like, well, a Gemini special. So, I sent them a DM and I was like, hey... I already booked my appointment, but yeah, like, you know, my birthday is in June, so do this apply to, um, if you already have an appointment, or is this just, like, for new people that's booking with you? So, she was like, no, she was like, I'll book it, um, she was like, I, it'll apply for you, she was like, but you gotta show me proof of your birthday, so I was like, well, how you want proof of my birthday? So, she was like, you send me a picture of your ID or whatever, blah, blah, blah. so I was like, send me a picture of my ID. But I was like, okay. I'm like, whatever. So, all I did was, I took a picture of my ID. I blotted out all my information on, you know, the license number, address, last name, all that. All you need to see is my first name. And then the birthday says 6-6. Six, six. You don't need to know the year. So, I scratched, I scratched out all that. I sent it to her. She verified it. I deleted the picture. I deleted the picture out of the chat because I don't know you like that, sis. So, I think she took $20 off of the style. So, I think the style might have been, like, maybe 260 or something. So, it ended up being 240 and then I paid the $20 deposit, right? So, cool. So, the next thing, of course, to prepare for my appointment was to go buy the break in here. Now, here is the next set of trauma, okay? Every, this is my thing. This is my thing with you girls, with you hair braider girls and all of this. Everybody, like, get this hair, buy sensational hair, um, buy out tray hair, get silky smooth hair, don't braid with pre-stretch hair. It's just, like, all these stipulations. 
So I go on the thing to look under the style. So the style was like you could either buy four, no, what did it say? It said either buy four packs of 24 inch hair or it said buy six packs of 30 inch hair. All right, y'all. So I always get my hair extra length because y'all know my natural hair is long. So a lot of times, yo, I done got hip to the game that these girls be doing when they be braiding your hair. So, I always get extra length of my hair anyway, and I'm tall, I'm 5'9", I got long hair, so I need pretty long braids, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a big girl, so I like to make sure I have enough braids. You know, can't be a big girl to have a little teeny bit of braids. Make sure the braids is big enough, wide enough, long enough, you know, to cover everything I got going on. Not cover, but you know what I'm saying, to match, because we I would look crazy, right? So, again, I'm getting extra length, so I'm going to get the 30-inch hair, so the things that get... Six packs of 30 inch, right? So I went to the store. I was at the braiding wall because I'm like, you know, the normal hair my person braid with was on the other side of the wall, but they wanted some other hair, Rua, I think. I don't know. I don't, I think what we usually get, Outray? Yeah, we usually get Outray braiding hair. So this person wanted Rua hair. So I look for the Rua hair. I find a Rua. All they got is 24. So I'm like, I don't want the 24. I want the 30 inch. I don't want nothing. I just want my hair so my braids can be long. So it was some other girl that I met in the hair store, whatever. She was like, oh, hey, I'm a braider, whatever. She was like, um, let me help you out. So I was like, okay. I was like, well, give me your Instagram or whatever. I was like, since you braid hair. So she gave me her IG. I want. I looked at it. I was like, oh, okay, like I'm going to check you out. You know, I'm going to check her out. I really didn't like what she was giving, but it was cool, whatever. She helped me in the store. So I was like, well, look, I said, the thing say get six packs of 30 inch hair. I was like, does she want six single packs of 30 inch hair? Or, you know, or I was like, do they got the triple packs? I was like, does she want six triple packs of the hair? Because again, I book smalls. I book smalls. Okay. So when you book small, I'm thinking she needs probably like the three pack of hair in one thing, which they usually run about five dollars. So I was like, okay, she needs six packs. Then let me get that. So we ended up not saying it. So as I was leaving out, one of the girls was like, um, one of the girls that worked in the store was like, oh, she was like, here, well, we got the double packs of the um 30 inch hair. So I was like, okay, cool. So when I say double packs, meaning that it got two like it's two packs what would be two individual packs is in one pack so it's two bundles of hair in the one pack okay all right so i was thinking of how somebody else would be counting it they'd be like if they tell you bring four packs of hair and if it got three bundles in it that's three things of hair and then you get a fourth one but if you get two packs that's one two three four five that will be like six packs of hair but you're only getting two because it comes to two three Y'all get the y'all get the math. Y'all not slow. Y'all my followers. So I know y'all follow what I'm saying, right? So instead of I getting the six packs, the six individual packs that the person asked for, I got eight packs of double braiding hair weft things. Okay. So this is equivalent to 16 packs. Okay. So keep this in mind for later on. So I buy my hair, you know, I'm chilling. I'm waiting for my appointment, which was the next day. So I have to get up early, of course, because I got to drive to my appointment. It's like on the other side of town from where I live. So I wake up at 7 a.m. It's the day of the appointment, right? Mind you, my appointment is at 9 o'clock. So I'm getting dressed. I'm on the phone with my homegirl. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm getting ready. I'm ready to get this hair done blah, blah 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 so i'm eating my breakfast and as i'm about to leave out because it takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to get there so you know i'm gonna give it like an hour time so i have a little 15 minute grace period to get there i get a text message that's like um hi this is your braider um what did they, what she said, um, she was like, oh, I had a real bad allergic reaction this morning, so I'm going to have to reschedule your appointment. Mind you, this is the day of, like, like, I'm on my way, like, I'm leaving out on my way to the appointment, and then you tell me, so I'm like, you had an allergic reaction, so I'm like, so mind y'all, this is the day after Memorial Day, so I'm like, 
Because this is a young girl. So the first thing that go in my head is, you have been out partying. No, come on now, we all know this trick. And y'all know I worked in the ER for many, 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 many years. We all know the trick. You don't want to go to work the next day. You say, oh, I'm sick. I got this. I got that. But again, listen, I got energy, so I'm sensitive. You know the people. So that very well could have happened. So I was like, okay. I was like, um, so when you rescheduling, like, what's the rescheduled time and date? Because, mind you, I've already took my hair out. I got my hair just washed and just blow dry and in a ponytail. So I took off of work. That was the thing. I took off of work. I took PTO. So I'm like, and I took a PTO day. And I can't go back to work without my hair not done. So what am I supposed to do? So I was just like, you know, what day can you reschedule? An hour will go by. Two hours go by. So I'm like, I'm on the phone with my homegirl. I'm like, yo, I'm like, why this hussy ain't even like, I'm like, I just asked her what was the reschedule date. I don't know if she wanted me to ask her like, um, oh, you okay? No, because you canceled on me like an elbow for my appointment. I'm not issuing you okay. Um, yeah, so when can you reschedule? And my whole thing with that was, I'm not saying that you couldn't have had an allergic reaction that morning, but the way that allergic reactions go... You don't wake up with an allergic reaction. That's something that gets you out your, you know what I'm saying, that gets you out your sleep. So granted, if you had an allergic reaction, it wouldn't have happened at 8 o'clock. If you, you know what I'm saying, like you get what I'm saying? If you had an appointment at 9 o'clock, then that means you would have been up prior to 8 o'clock. And if you were asleep, like if y'all watch my Miami story time, when my friend had an allergic reaction, how they were asleep and it abruptly woke them up, like, uh, Allergic reactions take time. Some are instantaneous, but I was just like, the allergic reaction story was just not adding up to me. I was like, bitch, I got allergies, so you lying. I, I walk around with a damn EpiPen, so you lying. So I was already giving you lying. So I, that's that's another reason why I really, I did ask, like, was you okay? Because it was already giving, it was giving you lying. So I was like, I'd rather somebody just be like, you know what, like, sis, you know, I'm a little drunk. Like, give me an air tube, and I'm going to get you in. That, that would have sufficed for me. You feel me? I'm human. So, yo, I'm on the phone with my homegirl. I'm, like, panicking because I'm like, yo, what am I going to do? I know, like, I know you just did not do this to me. Like, I know you didn't do this to me. Not only is this my birthday hair, but I cannot go to work with my hair all over my head. So, I'm like, yo, when I tell you I went through, like, the whole Baltimore Braiders hashtag, I was looking at everybody's stuff. I was like, oh, my goodness, who got to open it? Who got to open it? Who got to open it? But, you know, let me get y'all in with this. This is another thing I'm going to talk about with y'all. These squeeze-ins. I can understand if I hit you, like, if you book and I text you and be like, yo, can you squeeze me in? I got you on the extra. But y'all be like, y'all schedule yourself a break in a day. Y'all schedule appointment at one, two, and then y'all start your next appointment at four o'clock and y'all be like yeah for an extra hundred dollars that's not a squeezing you just had an extra slot that's not a squeezing that's not a squeezing yeah. anyway people be playing games so anyway i'm looking because i'm like at this point i'm gonna even pay the squeezing fee even though y'all be scamming and they really don't be squeezing us so i'm like look i even pay that i'm like i just need something so mind you one hour, two hour, three hours go by. Sis never told me what the reschedule date was. So I'm like, are you passed out? Did you fall out? Like, what's tea, sis? So then finally, a couple hours later, she like, um, can you meet me at the shop at this time? So I'm like, I thought you was dead, dying, and didn't. And couldn't do my hair. So I was like, I come hungry. I said, girl, why she just text me back and was later like, can I come? But then, mind you, I'm like, okay. I already bought all these packs of hair. The packs of hair that she used ain't the same hair that all these uh, the other people that I go to use. So I was just like, what am I going to do with this hair? Because, you know, all these braiders, they so picky about their hair. The hair that they use. So I was like, you know what? I said, this how I wanted my hair. Let me just go here. So I was like, at that point, the tip for sis was null and void. You're not getting no tip. You're not getting a tip. You're not getting a tip. So then she texted me randomly and was like, what color is your hair? So I was like, 
I got like regular color hair. I got one B hair. I was like, I already bought my hair. So I walk into the shop. So it's it was like I think like four people in there. So I was like, you know, how y'all doing? I'm standing there with a bag of hair. I'm like, how y'all doing? I was like, is um I'm looking for um I don't know, whatever the girl name. Uh I'm gonna call her I'm gonna call her Sh Shamika. I'm gonna call her Shamika. So I'm like, hi, I'm looking for Shamika. So she was just standing there looking at me like now, mind you, there's no pictures of her on her page, no nothing. So, I don't know what you look like. So, if somebody come in and saying, hi, I have an appointment with Shamika, and you're Shamika, wouldn't you say, oh, how you doing? I'm Shamika. Like, come to my chair. First of all, yo, that's what they make me do. You girls, you girls. You hairstylists and people that want to be offering services to people, y'all are so cringe. It's very annoying. Y'all are so cringe that it makes me think that y'all was a special education. But I'm like, okay. I'm like, in my head, like, you wasn't going to greet your customer. Like, I'm coming. So straight up off the rip when I see her, Shorty got on her pajamas. Now, listen, by no means, when you a braid or whatever, you wear what you want. You be comfortable. You wear what you want, right? It's the difference between being comfortable and being presentable, okay? Shorty looked like she just rolled out of bed. It was giving pajamas. It was big t-shirt, bonnet, like, sleep pants, and slippers. Like, I was just like... So, you already was over four hours late to the appointment. You didn't even have the decency. You could put some leggings in the t-shirt. That would have been cool. But I'm not trying to tell nobody. But like I said, you know what I'm saying? It's a thin line between, you know, decent, like, decency and just. So, I was like, I was like, it's, I was like, not. Not you was four hours late and you got to put your arms. I was like, okay, whatever. I was like, let me sit there. I was like, oh, you feel better? Being shady. Y'all know I was being shady. Because looking at her and knowing how somebody look after they have an allergic reaction, you know what I'm saying? I'm almost 10 years in the mad game. Sis, sis ain't had no allergic reaction, right? So she was like, um, she was like, yeah. I was like, oh, I was like, well, what you, I was like, what you ate? Because I just wanted to know. Yeah, what caused you to have an allergic reaction? What you ate? She was like, I don't even know. So mind you, I sit down or whatever, right? So... She's on the phone. That's that's another pet peeve of mine. You girls on the phone. Yo, the phone part get worse. Hold up. So she's on the phone, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, do you? I give it a hair. I'm thinking she's I'm thinking she's setting up the hair and all this. Cause it's taking her a minute. So I'm just sitting in the chair, just you know, waiting. So one of the other girls was like, um, Girl, yes, we were so drunk last night. So she was like, mm, like telling the girl, like, mm. she was like, uh, yeah, she was like, uh, uh, she was like, I was drunk until I had had that allergic reaction. So I was like, I'm in my head, I'm like, yo, I'm like, I knew she, I knew you lied. I'm like, I knew you lied, I knew you lied. So she was like, um, yeah, girl, I was drunk until I had an allergic reaction. So as the appointment goes on, y'all know they get to talking, but the more she's talking, I'm getting agitated because I'm like, not that it was my business, but you didn't hit the lie. So anyway, then I'm sitting in there, you put me all up in your business, so I'm finna tell it on YouTube. So what happened was, the real story was, sis was out. Throwing that thing in a circle, got drunk, and got into a car wreck. Got into a car wreck. That's why you couldn't come to work. That's why you tried to cancel the appointment. But when you thought about it, you needed the coin probably to get you a rental. Say word. So, y'all, so she said that she stuck my head. So, the whole time, she's like, 
huffing and puffing while she doing it. She like, I'm so fucking irritated. Cause da, 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 da. First of all, don't be putting all that bad energy into my hair while you're touching my hair. I would never, ever, ever go back. But don't be putting, bitch, I need good energy doing my hair. So she like, I'm so irritated. You know what I'm saying? I call her. So the whole time, she's on the phone. She's screaming at the um, the insurance company. She's calling her parents. She's like, and this is a young girl. She might have been like 18 or 19. Which, hey, at 18 or 19, I like to think that I was, you know, pretty mature. But maybe that's because I had older people that was around me, older siblings, older influences. But, like, well, this girl was definitely given like 18, 19. So, like, she's screaming with them. Then, I mean, it was like non-stop on the phone to the point that I was just sitting there like... I was so irritated. And I think she knew that I was irritated because you know how your head up in a ponytail like this? She kept trying to move my hair so she could see my eyes. Because the eyes was looking like... Because what are you looking at? So... She talking to the other girls in the salon. She like, yeah, girl, cause we got um we got drunk and then I said, you no, know, the car flipped up on the thing and I'm tired. So she like sitting there like, yeah, cause I shouldn't have came in. It, you didn't do me no favors. You should. You could have not came in at all. Like what? I'm like, why? Well, number one, even if you felt that way. You took the appointment, you canceled the appointment, you didn't want to reschedule the appointment, then you told me to come. So, I'm not inconveniencing you. You inconvenienced me, because how you know I had kids to pick up? Like, so I'm like, oh yeah, like, bitch, you not getting no tip. So, she talking with the other girl, so instead of, you know, some people can multitask, like, talk and do this. So I'm like, you already got the your phone sitting on my shoulder loud as can be you yelling at insurance people you yelling at your parents you you just doing the most then she's talking to the other girls in the salon which i don't really care but you can be braiding and talking she bray and she stopped me. She like, yeah, girl. Because when we was doing that, and I was out there like blah, blah, blah. So she stopped and twerking. Run. You know, like, run around the salon. You know how somebody tell a joke and they like, yeah, oh, we went over there. And you run over there. And then, like, come back. And I'm just sitting in the chair just like, can you, like, can you come on? So, mind you, the next thing that I said was. Y'all see my head. Now, granted, the head, it look, it, it look good. It look nice. It's okay. It's not what I'm wanting, but it's okay. I book for small. These are not small plaits. These are not small plaits. Which was my next thing. So, while she was breaking, I was like, you know why? I was like, you do know I book for smalls, right? She was like, um, yeah, these is small. So I was like, well, I'm like the part. I said the part you don't feel kind of real big to me, boo. Like, don't try to play me out. Like, we've all had not lists a million times. Like, granted, each stylist is different, but these is medium sized braids. These is not small. These ain't even small. I booked for small. These ain't even small. So, y'all, so after she do, I'm like, okay, I'm like, let me just come on, cause, so I can just get up out of here. So, my sister's doing my hair, she don't stay, hold on, she don't stay, can you give me a minute? She just leaves. So, I texted my whole girl, I was like, yo, I said never again, yo. She was like, what you doing? So, I literally, like, texted her a picture of me sitting in the chair. She was like, what's going on with this? I said, bitch, she just left the shop. She was like, what you mean she left? I was like, she left. Like, she's gone. I'm just sitting here. So the other girl was, was like, looking like, like, where you go at? Like, they was just looking like, damn, you just left your client set right here. So I'm like, word. So at this point, y'all, I'm sitting in a chair. I'm heated. Like, I'm 
I am so mad. Like, when she come back in there, I was like, looking at her. She was like, oh, she was like, um, I'm sorry. I was like, yeah, like, like, yeah. It's like, can we give a recap? You cancel the appointment. You wait a few hours to reschedule the appointment. You lied about, you know, having an allergic reaction when you really were drunk. Like, then you just. You run around talking. You doing more talking. Not enough braiding. Then you leave me just sitting there so you can go do whatever on the phone. Whatever, whatever, what. Then Shorty comes back in. She keep calling. Yo. Listen. I get it. 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 The whole like you never wanting to get off the phone with your boyfriend. I get it. I totally get it. 50 times, I swear to God, Joe, 50 times she calls the boyfriend. He like, what you doing? Bitch, she break your head. What you mean, what she doing? So she like, I'm still doing my client. So he like, I miss you. Mind you, this is on speaker, y'all. And I do not care to hear your conversation. So then she like, babe, can you bring my, um, what they call it? My AirPods. Please bring her her AirPods. She like, yeah, then can you bring me a chicken box and a triple mix? So I'm thinking like, you already late. You had me sitting here. I know you don't think you can really eat. I know, like, I, I was like, that's that. I was like, okay, just come in here eat, and that's definitely what I had to draw the line at. And it might be a little scuffle in here, cause you, you got me messed up. This not even about to go down like that. And I'm like, mm, don't try me, bitch. So, sis is, you know, just finally diligently braiding, braiding. She's still talking loud as I don't know what in my ear, just doing the most. So, I'm just like, I'm just very, just like, I'm just so irritated. I don't even think y'all know how irritated I was, but I was very fucking irritated. So, the boyfriend finally arrives with the food. So, he's standing there. So, mind you, I'm sitting. She's behind me braiding. And so, he's like, just standing here. So, he like, boom. What time are you going to be home? So she like, I don't know, but it's going to be a couple more hours. Move from, move from behind me. Move from behind me, please. <laughs> like, move. Move, move, move. She's working. Like, she's working. Like, I can't stress that enough. You're working. Like, what? What? Like, granted, you know, being a stylist and an artist, you have freelance to do whatever you please, but, like, you're working. And at this point, you're not working hard or diligently enough, so I'm just, like, work fast until you can get home to boo. So then she's screaming at him because she like, you forgot my damn airpods. I'm like, Jesus, take the wheel, cause I'm about to knock this mother sucker on her heels. Like, I was, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think y'all, listen, yo, I'm like a pretty, I'm so easy, yo, I swear to God, I'm so easy, yo, but yo, I was so agitated, I was so annoying. So he can bring the food. So I'm just, I'm literally, I'm waiting for her to crack the chicken open. I'm waiting for her because the minute sis thinks she about to, I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be dead. So as soon as the boyfriend leave out, mind you, he was just standing there. As soon as he leave out, he call her right back on the phone. Boo, what you doing? You just walked out. You just walked out of here. You just saw what she was doing. I was like, I was like, oh my God. I was like, please don't tell me that I was just annoyed. I was just annoyed. <laughs> I, was, I was so fucking annoyed. I oh my gosh. So then she break and break and break and then she stops. Then I hit her bag. Twiddling, and I hear some go go go. I don't care if you drinking go 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 cool. Sis dips in the chicken. So mind you, it was mirrors in front of me. Sis dips in the chicken. 
and then go to turnaround.com. I said, you eating chicken? She was like, yeah. I was like, so you think it's okay for you to put your greasy ass chicken hands in my hair? I know you couldn't have. Now, mind you, these are the same stylists who say hair must come washed. Do not have any grease, oil, dander, nothing in your hair, or your appointment will be canceled. You will be charged 100% of whatever your style costs. You will be there. She will be there. So, you think you're going to eat a piece of chicken, put your greasy ass chicken hands in my head, and finish braiding my head with chicken grease? Girl, go wash your hands. So you might as well finish eating your little piece of chicken that you got. So you ain't got to come back and wash your hands. So go ahead and eat that. Then go wash your hands. Then you come back and finish my head. And come on. And come on. Because, like, I can't be nice. to no, Like, my other side going to come out. Y'all know how to say Gemini's got two sides. My other side. My head was going to spin around the circle. And it was going to be something. And I was going to tear that stuff on up. So I was like, you got to come on. Like, you got So, yeah, the professionalism and all of that stuff was just really not there. So, I cannot wait until the end of my appointment. So, first things first. Like I said, this is not what I paid for. This is not no dang with small braids. But I said, you know what? I gave sis her money. I was so agitated. I gave sis her money. I left. I was like, you know what? Thank you for your services. And my Shawnee old... Well, I don't know Shawnee new... Probably the last thing, but my shawty O'Neal voice. Thank you for your services. I will never be back again. Get my stuff. I get to my car. Mind you, I'm hungry. I'm like, everybody else in there eating. And I'm like, at least the things you could do if you're taking forever to say, hey, you, it's a little store right there. You might grab stuff from the store. But I forgot. No eating, no drinking in the salon except for us. So I get in my car. Call my friend back. I'm driving. I go grab me something to eat from the McDonald's because I was the closest thing there. Because mine driving up since 7 a.m. and I ain't ate since 7. I'm hungry. Go to McDonald's. My homegirl, like, oh, but well, I'm in the area. I told her, I said, pull up on me. I need to see a happy face. Pull up my homie. So I'm sitting in the parking lot. I'm eating my McDonald's. They pulled up on me, you know what I'm saying? I said, she was like, oh, I like your hair. I said, sis, what size braids is these? She was like, like, like mediums. I was like, yeah, yeah, like mediums, right? She was like, well, then you book for small. I said, yeah, I book for smalls. I was like, is it giving smalls? She was like, not giving smalls, sis. I was like, okay. Didn't think it was giving smalls. I said, but she swore me up and down. That these are smalls. Look at these, y'all. You can see through these. Ain't small. Not as small about them. Granted, do they look good? Yeah, it look nice, you know. But this is not what I paid for. <clears throat> so I said, you know what? So after we we parlayed in the parking lot, I drove on home. I gassed up my truck because I said I got to go to work tomorrow and I already been up for too long and I don't want to be grumpy because I was on call the next day. Well, after I got home, I was like, damn, I left my hair at the salon. So I called my niece and I was like, hey niece, I was like, um... Cause my niece, she was my niece at the time. I was like, hey niece, you think I'm right to the salon tomorrow um, to go pick up my hair? I was like, cause I left my hair. So she was like, look aunt, she was like, I don't really know. She was like, you know, my niece got her little wheels, whatever. She be on the go. So I was like, you know, if you find the time in your busy day, you know, like you doing something. I was like, you find the time in your busy day to go get my hair. Let me know. I was like, if you can't get it, I'll, I'll go when I get off. So... Here comes the next set of drama. So I text her. I was like, oh, hey. I realized, and I'm just paraphrasing because I don't have the messages right in front of me. So I was like, oh, hey. Um, 
I left my hair in the salon. What time will you be there tomorrow? Like, so I can pick it up. So she hits back and was like, hey, um, so I used the hair that I had. That's why you had packs of hair left. So, mind you, y'all, I'm back on the phone with my homegirl that I've been talking to throughout like, this whole ordeal. So, I said, girl, I said, why well, I just told her I left. No, mind you, I had a big, big for the hair. So, I was like, yo, watch this girl just said, hey, I, you only had hair left because I used my hair. And I was like, I was like, so you're telling me, I was like, so the eight double packs of hair that I brought wasn't enough? Because I'm waiting for you to say it wasn't enough because I bought more than enough. You said bring six packs. I bought eight packs. I bought eight double packs. So that's 16 packs of hair. This is like 16 packs of hair. It don't. Because it ain't. Right? So my homegirl was like, she was like, what that got to do with um the price of rice in China? Like, she was like, I ain't understanding what she said. I said, I feel like I think I know where she about to go at with this, but it ain't really. So, y'all, after I asked her and was like, so you telling me that the eight double packs ahead of I bought wasn't enough? So, she was like, yeah, it was enough. She was like, but I used hair that was already on my rack for your head. So, I'm going to just keep your hair. You gonna just what? Somebody please tell me how that makes sense. So I, I, at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm not fussing with this child about no braiding hair. Cause it ain't that deep for braiding hair. But I'm like, for you to still, like, for you to still braiding hair. Granted, I left it. I left it by next to this. So, but when I hit you to get it back, you want to tell me like, no, I'm keeping this because I use my hair. But I'm trying to figure out why you use your hair when I bought more than enough hair. It's, you stole it. It's giving, you had to still braid your hair. Yo, when I say I was done for Nito, I was so mad. I was like, yo, not, I can understand somebody stealing bundles. Still use some bundles. I mean, I wouldn't steal nobody, but still use some bundles. If you get the opportunity, take you some bundles. But braiding hair? That one really threw me for a loop. And I was just trying to figure out her logic. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay. Let's just say you used... I'm, I'm going to give it a benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say you used two packs of, hair, of your hair on my head, right? I bought eight packs. So, I'm going to give you two, right? I'm going to give you two. So, you say I bring six packs. So, then that means, and I bought six double packs. Y'all, it was still a bag full, like, it was at least like five packs of hair still left in it. Because, again, y'all know most of this is my hair. So, again... You didn't use that many packs of hair in my hair. My hair is thin as shit. My hair is thin as shit. Like. I was like, y'all. I said, it's like, it's not the fact of the breaking hair. It's just the, it's the principle of it. It's the principality. And this leads me to my next thing that I'm getting ready to say. Because I want to have a word with you, um. You, you stylish, you Instagram girls, you, you braiders, um, all you people that's out here rendering services to people. Um, come here. Queen Steve's gonna talk, I'm gonna talk to y'all. Have a seat, Mo. We sick of y'all. And when I say we, I'm speaking for we the people, we the girls of the world. We sick of y'all. Okay. You girls don't have no customer service, right? So you sit here and you want to give people all these rules. What to do, don't do, bring this, don't bring that. Sit here, shut up. 
don't bring your kids, but my badass kids can sit here and run around. You don't eat in here, but I'm going to eat in here. A lot of y'all be a half a second away from getting your ass beat. And this girl, the only thing that saved this girl was that I was like, what would it look like if I'm like, you know, yeah, your honor. I went back up to her shop and I slept her. And I say, your honor, I slept her because she stole my braiding hair and she played in my face and she needed to be taught a lesson. Like that would look real crazy on some charge paper. So <clears throat> let's like, I'm still so baffled by the logic behind that. But y'all girls really need to get it together because I see this happen so often. Like y'all are some of the most unprofessional, uncouth. I hate to say it about a lot of people, but a lot of y'all is just gutter butt, just lucky to have some money. Like, you could tell y'all just, you know, straight hood booger, like, just straight. The most, you feel me, the pandemic really got a lot of y'all up, like, to where y'all getting money, but then y'all getting a little bit above yourself, like, to the point that y'all be putting all these rules and all this stuff you know what I'm saying, on y'all booking sites and y'all can't even spell. Y'all don't even know the difference between there, there, and there. What? Sit there, go there, pen me that over there. Like, y'all don't even be knowing. Y'all be trying to be, you know, so smart, but y'all be so dumb. Y'all be trying to crack, have slit, and then you feel me when you get cracked, then y'all want to be looking all dumb, like, yeah, you know, my, like, I see why people be going to their appointments, like, with the, with the too loud. Some of y'all be being too loud. Like, I just don't be understanding. So, that's, that's a lesson. You know, y'all need to work on your customer service. Because, again, if you don't have no customers, you don't get paid. And this is something that I learned a really long time ago from, um, you know, I happened to be up Park Heights. And it was actually um, come from, you know, uh, um, I'm gonna assume that the lady was a drug addict. She appeared that way. But she went into a store, and I happened to be a bystander in the store, and they didn't want to service her. And she told them something that this has always stuck with me. She said, B, my money spent everywhere. Okay? So, this, I'm gonna repeat this to y'all. My money spent everywhere, okay? In every country, in every store, online, on the app, off the phone, in cash, cash, credit, all of that. My money spent in and everywhere, okay? So if somebody coming to you for you to perform a service, you, one, do it to the best of your ability, but two, you need to do it professionally, okay? Because I don't, I'm like, what? If they had an option when I'm getting my service, I opt for a silent appointment. Like, I don't want to hear all that, Okay? I, all that, all that, and all that that y'all be doing, I don't like it. We don't like it. We're not here for it. Okay? Again. The same thing. Y'all want to go with all these cancellations. So, it's like if the customer cancel, you will be charged 100% of your fee. But you canceled on me. You ain't no for me no uh, discount. You canceled me. You was late. Oh, y'all. Then I forgot. The bitch poked me in my eye. Like, dead in my eye. Because she's so busy trying to see... What face is I'm making while you doing my head? Poke me in the eye. I ain't get no discount for that. I could have lost the eye. Could have been right here like this with it. Like. Y'all need to be more professional, okay? Come presentable. That's the next thing I'm going to talk about. Presentation, okay? It only take a minute. And family dollar. We get a five dollar pair of leggings, a shirt. We ain't saying you got to be dressed up or do nothing, but just be clean, be presentable, because you never know who watching. Like, shorty, dead my head. You ain't even no queen steez in your chair. Now you getting blasted, you know what I'm saying? You didn't even know steez was in here. Now you getting blasted in front of thousands of people. Like, what's up with you? You know, I ain't like that. Another thing, all that being on the phone and, and like, I ain't need to know all your business. 
I didn't need to know all your business. And if you had prior things or other things to do, then don't take the appointment. Like, it's literally that simple. Like, don't be standing there like, yeah, I'm right up because I'm so annoyed. Ugh, I shouldn't have took no clients. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. If you if I ain't had nothing to lose, I would have banged, I would have already banged her in her face. And I would have drove back up there the next day because I wanted to, to go up there the next day while she had another client and pop her. Because she needed to get a lure. Pop, pop. You don't handle a business like that, little girl. You don't. You don't. It's not giving. And another thing that I want to talk about that I think is kind of like a blessing and a curse. A blessing because everybody has been able to, um, like, you know, start businesses and stuff. But everybody don't have a business mindset. You know, um... Like, I could tell she ain't had nobody in her life, like, to really teach her nothing, like, to teach her how to come. Like, that is so, like, unprofessional. Now, granted, you can say, oh, I just braid hair, but we ain't in your kitchen, though. You know what I'm saying? We're in the hair salon. I don't need to know all your business. You been on the phone. You running back and forth. You leaving me sitting in your chair. A lot of y'all really need to get it together, okay? Because without your customers, you just gonna be another person with their little shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Cause as y'all can see, I did my own knotless braids, my own jumbo knotless. So it's like, it's not that hard. And she, yeah, people come to me for my talent. We all learn how to braid at five and seven years old on the mannequin head. Like, it's not a lot of talent, you know? No offense to anyone, but, you know, no. you ain't doing that much. Don't take that much nerve, uniqueness, or talent, the brain. But that's for her. That's not for the rest of my people. For the rest of my people who had in business, you're talented, honey. But, huh? Yo, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, and I feel like, Young people, like, when you say something to them, they might get so, you know, rah, rah, rah. But shorty definitely, like, need to be, I don't even know. Like, I, I, like, I'm still just, like, in disbelief that this is how our people are conducting business. Like, I really hate that. Like, I really hate that. But. It is what it is. I'll never return again. I'm trying to, I was trying to be worked up in this video. So I'm going to actually end the video right here. You know, I'm going to leave it right here. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Because it's my birthday. And I'm finna go out and do it and put my back into it. And y'all drop your girl something, you know, hit me, hit, hit the cash app. Make that, how I go? Do the cash app ring. Make that cash app ring. Or ching ching and all that. Drop a like on the video. Drop down the comments and let me know if y'all had the same experience with these just unprofessional, rude, and ignorant stylists. And yeah, let these girls know we're tired of y'all. We're tired of y'all. And to you who stole my braiding hair, you must have needed it. Because it ain't never that serious. Still a bundle, not braiding hair. Hey.